So this is an interesting thing that I've never actually played around with before called, it's, it's, I don't even know how to say it, Bornoi uh, diagram is what I'm going with. I don't know how to say it. I was too busy to look it up, but um, I've used these before in a different form. I have no idea what we call them um, to find points to like put locations of things. So if you have three towns and you're trying to put a centrally located like park or fire station or hospital or something, you can use this process to find the point that's right in the middle and then try to locate it somewhere close to that because obviously if there's a road there or something, you can't do it. So I've used these things before. I've never called them this. Um, and this is something brand new in IB. Okay, and they're kind of using them a little bit different. So we're gonna learn this together because I've, I've gone through it, but I've changed my mind about 10 times in terms of what um, you guys need to be able to do. And I've been looking at IB questions and things like that so that we can deal with it. All right, but the bottom line is, in order for these, there's going to be questions involved in these things where we have to find perpendicular bisectors. All right, so we have to find the equations of perpendicular bisectors. All right, we just spent two, three, four days finding equations of lines. All right, to do perpendicular bisectors, I'm going to do the same thing that we just did, except I'm going to have to be able to um, find a midpoint if they don't give it to me. And then I'm going to have to find the perpendicular slope between the endpoints so that I can make my equation. So it's going to be a little bit longer of a process than finding the equation when I already know the slope, but I already know the point, um, or I know one of the two and I have to find the other one. It's going to be a little bit longer process. Um, the good news is, from what I've seen in the IB questions, they don't ask anything incredibly complicated here. Um, they might ask you to do some sketches or some different things, but pretty much you're looking at a map, basically. It's always a map of something, and you're using that map to um, make a statement about what's the closest point or something like that. So while this looks incredibly in-depth and incredibly complicated, it's really not because we're just touching the very, very surface of it.